Hey, you. Yeah, you. Over there. You want some sugary, creamy, nice, well-made skooma to fill those taste buds with the juices of life? Well, look no further, my fellow compadres. I have the perfect thing for you. And boy, oh boy, is it just the greatest thing in the world. Because not only do I have skooma, I have many types of skooma and some other types of consumables too. Like this here bowl. You can just eat the bowl on its own. I heard wood's really good for digestive tracts this time of year. Welcome, my fellow Elder Scrolls adventurers, to this spectacular video on how you, the viewer, can become the finest skooma dealer in the lands of Skyrim. The one merchant everyone trusts and comes to for their juicy tendencies. Have you ever wanted to make skooma, but ended up really disappointed because the base game of Skyrim just wouldn't let you like? Well, trust me, you aren't the only one. I'm pretty sure everyone was ever was disappointed by this design choice from Bethesda because it's pretty stupid to be honest, but of course, modders come along and uh, <coughs> save the day. Today we will be looking at the Become a Skooma Drug Lord Skooman Skyrim mod by mod author Big Biz Kit. This mod is one of my new favourite mods ever. If you've been watching my streams, you've been seeing me play through it the last week. It's truly something I very much enjoy, and I truly don't know why I did not try and get it sooner. It's honestly strange, especially with all the involvement my Yeek has in his content, because isn't he a dirty drug dealer? You'd think I'd know my own Khajiit. So this mod comes with a few quests that involve themselves through the Thieves Guild questline and do so very smoothly. You can barely tell they aren't vanilla thanks to the mod author's work. You will need to do the Thieves Guild questline and get as far as Gullamai's quest, the one where you follow the Argonian into that warehouse in solitude. You know, the one where you butcher all the peoples and stuff, you try and sneak by, you get all the loot and all that crap. Gullamai will give you some new dialogue at the end of the quest telling you that he knows of an operation ongoing that you can get involved in and this operation my fellow friends of Skyrim is Skooma. Now remember if you left him alive just talk to him at the end of the quest and he'll have some new dialogue but if you killed him go back to where Golemai usually sits in the inn in solitude the winking skeever I think it's called and check his chair or table it should be in that vicinity a note putting you forward on your quest. He will direct you to our new quest giver a master Skooma cook known as Darakaz who will get you involved in 10 smaller quests ranging from cooking Skooma to upgrading your labs, all the way to removing other cooks across Skyrim. It's literally Breaking Bad, but in the Elder Scrolls. Eventually, this pad will bring you to a point where you become Skyrim's main drug lord, which is obviously what you all want, right? You want to overtake Skyrim's skooma trade while helping Maik make some money to cook more, right? This mod allows you to grow moon sugar plants to keep a steady flow of moon sugar coming in for your cooking needs. Alongside this, you will need a range of ingredients to keep up, but we'll do the basic skooma ones, which also includes moon sugar. All of this requires moon sugar. Moon sugar is life, my friends, but you will also need stuff like malachite ore to create empty skooma bottles, honeycombs to give it that sweet taste, and moon sugar because well that's pretty self-explanatory, I've already explained it, you better have listened. From here you can go out and sell to random NPCs, you were better off selling at night because some people will report you during the day and you have less chance of being caught in the dark. People can also become addicts giving you more money for skooma later in the game, which is of course what you want, lots of gold for a trade Skyrim really doesn't seem to need. <laughs> you gain kingpin points after a certain quest as well. Over time, these points will allow you to gain more options from quests from Darakaz. Eventually, at alchemy level 100, you can make the purest and finest skooma in all of Skyrim and sell it for outrageous prices and become world dominator by death by skooma. So go and download this mod today. It's pretty goddamn fun and it truly has given me a new way to play Skyrim because who doesn't want to sell skooma and make money off it? It's literally making my yeek swim through the air in happiness. Just look at him. But I'm thinking maybe a skooma build coming soon boys, what do you think?
Next up, we got my new favorite weapon ever. It's beautiful, it's elegant, it's big, and it's a dominator in the fields of battle because who doesn't like getting struck by a giant ass stick with a spiky ball stuck to it? The Evening Star mod by author Billy Rowe and one heck of a mod if I do say so myself. This weapon was created in reference to another game named Mordhau, but we all know the one thing Skyrim was missing was spiky club thing. So yes, you can craft this weapon out of Forge, I know that's what you were all asking. Preaching through the screens, and there is your answer. It's the only way to get it outside of using console commands, so it's stuck in there pretty nice and smoothly. No cheats, no easy way of getting it, just, well, it's kind of easy to get, but you know, it's not that easy, unless, yeah. And from my experience, if I'm not mistaken, all you need is the ability to craft steel to make it, so maybe it is easy to get. The weapon deals a decent amount of damage in scaling, because when I crafted it at low level 10s, it dealt 54 in its own with no upgrades, so that's pretty neat. Also, the weapon itself has some beautiful textures. It works like a Warhammer would, so it has the same animations as them, but Boy, does it feel good to run around and have something unique over all other NPCs in Skyrim. Now alongside this weapon mod, I have a new spell for you guys to go and check out too. It's just a random one I found on the Nexus that I ended up trying to use and Holy heck, was it just wonderful! The mod is called Minor Man's Aurorans, and it was created by mod author Minor Man B. And like all other mods, you can find this one in the spell and enchantments section of Skyrim Nexus. This mod allows you to add a new spell to the conjuration tree called Summon Aurorin, and boy, is it just the coolest. Aurorans are Daedra associated with Meridia, and this particular one you will be using looks really nice in design and is a pleasure to look at, alongside it being terrifying to look at when fighting your foes. It will cost you a hefty amount of magicka to summon but will be well worth it when you have to use it in battle because you like who doesn't like using other people to their advantage when tanking foes in battle isn't that literally what lydia was born and bred to do to carry your burdens sworn to carry your burdens you understand what i mean but this is another mod i must implore you try out if you own the conjuration techniques Next, we have another wonderful quirky little mod that adds more content to the game even if it's just a small amount, giving you all the more reasons to head back into Skyrim and get some adventuring done. The name of the mod is Deadstone Barrow by mod author Crypt Dick, and it's something so simple, yet so wonderful. It simply adds a new dungeon for you to explore in the Whiterun hold. Now you may be wondering if it's a good dungeon to explore, and my fellow friends, I have to say, yes, yes it is. It is as simple and effective as a dungeon mod can come in Skyrim, especially since it has one goal, and that goal is to make me mispronounce every word I ever speak. No, 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 but, right? but, but, but seriously, right? the mod author themselves has said, if the dungeon feels like a base game dungeon in terms of aesthetics, loot, and enemy difficult, then they did their job exactly how they wanted. The dungeon itself feels quite similar to a lot of other dungeons you will encounter around. It has a simple layout to it, around two to three rooms for you to explore and clear out, and has the basic Draugr enemies you will usually encounter, especially the ones kept hiding around Whiterun. You know all them dungeons that seem really easy, then you get to Winterhold and boom, a Frost Troll or Ice Wraith or unsuspecting Cliff has killed you in one shot. <laughs> this is why I personally adore Whiterun. Not because it suits gameplay for a filthy casual like me, but that's exactly what it does and I have to say I love it immensely for it. Well, my friends, I think that's pretty much everything that I need to say, which sums up all the mods on this list today. I was going to add the new gigantic DLC sized mod carved brink to this, but I wanted to keep it for its own video because it, it deserves it. Remember, the link to all these mods are in the description below, go and give these mod authors some love on the Nexus. I highly recommend checking out the Skooma mod I listed in this video, it's my MVP for this video, I have actually been having a ton of fun with it, and I think a lot of you you will really enjoy it and if you want to see more of the mod and what it's like you should come by my streams if you do plan on trying one of these mods or you have tried one let me know in the comments below how you felt about them did you enjoy them or did you give them a hard pass also if you have any mod recommendations for me that you want me to try out please do let me know I would love to see what other kind of mods I've missed out on I've recently gotten myself back into the Skyrim modding scene it's been a lot of fun I've been discovering a lot of new ways to play the game like becoming the skooma kingpin of Skyrim but that is all 
all for this video today, my fellow Elder Scrolls adventurers. If you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. Any type of rating helps my channel in the long run. Criticism is always welcome in the comments below too. Follow me on all them beautiful social links, so check out the other mod videos I have done through the playlists on my channel, or choose one of the end cards I will have up for the end of this video when I'm done speaking now. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, week, month, or year, and I will see you beautiful people next time.